And now, please welcome the director of L'Histoire du Renard qui a perdu la raison, Matthias Brun. Hello, Matthias. So you, I didn't try to say the title of the film in German. <laughs> It looked a little, bit, a little bit complicated for me. It's a long title. Yes. It's a long title, yeah. And you bring the book with you. I brought the book with me because the, the film is based on a book and I, I wanted to, to show that to you because I'm, I'm sure that this question is, is appearing here. So, so why I made that film and, and, um, and um, it's based on a book. So many of the answers are here in this book. And are, are you the one who discovered the existence of this book or uh, a producer or somebody else brought a book to you and, and proposed the film to you? Well, actually, um, um, well, I'm not the one who discovered the book because the book in Germany was, was quite famous. It won uh, some, some important awards, book awards. And, uh, and um, um, but um, um, We, we are a small studio in Cologne, so my, my producer is also the, the, the partner. We both own the company. I'm more the director. He's the producer, Richard Lutherbeck. And, and then we, 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 that's what we do in the last years. Um, uh, we, we made some, some, we made like, like 10, around 10 adaptions of children's books. So this is one, one focus we have in our production. And, and when I, When we saw the book of Martin Balscheid, we, we and me personally also, we, we just fell in love with that book because it's so strong, so emotional, and such an important subject. I think. Yeah. So w w what was the main hook for you in the book? It was, it was the subject first, because it's, it can look unusual, this subject, for, uh, for, a, children, for a children book. Uh, Well, I think I think yeah, it's 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 like a, it's a strong story that's that's not only you know it's not the typical children book and children's story which deals with the with the uh, everyday life of children everyday problem. It's more like a family thing. It's a it's it's talking about the generation and and about the the role of the generation and the the change uh, of of people when they get old and um, and that was that is. Uh, something that's not just uh, appealing to children i think but to 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 um uh, grown-ups as well and so i'm really happy that this film that's well usually called a children's film is selected here in annecy and you can see that it's quite different to to many other films because the the story is told straightforward and and the graphics are very simple so mm -hmm. i think that there are not too many questions left when you when you see that film but that was not our goal to 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 you know that that is not an art film it's more like like a, a film that that should should bring uh, 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 families uh, to uh, make make you know start a discussion or, or talk with your children about generation and about the changes of, of people and and illness like mm -hmm. like dementia the There was another film in the competition this year that deals with uh, a similar subject, Une Tête Disparaît by yeah, Frank yeah, Dion. When we, we were in the selection process, we especially liked the fact that there was these two films, and there's, there's not a film who deal with that kind of subject every year, so mm -hmm. there, there were, were two this year, and two very different films, Aesthetically and also mm -hmm. in the, uh, let's say in the 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 way they they tell the the, the story in the in the storytelling, mm -hmm. uh, did you uh, have you have you seen the the Frank Dion? Yeah, film of course. Uh, yeah. I haven't seen it before. I didn't know there was another film about that subject. I was very surprised, and I, I liked it. I have to say, I liked that very much, and. Uh, the, 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 the director found very strong images for for that disease, and um, it, it was yeah, it was very touching that film in, in a completely different way. Yeah, uh, but I liked it very much. Yeah. And in your film, 
were you very faithful to, to the book or did you have to make uh, uh, a work of adaptation that was important? Uh, we, we, well, it, it was important to adapt the book because um, if you, well, I can, you know, just show you a little bit like the, the, the book look, looks like. It's, it's very simplified, it's very reduced, even, even more than, than the film. And the film has a simple style as well, but, but um, um, the, the, the book is even, even more, it's like, like rock and roll. It's, it's, it's rough, it's uh, full of emotion. And um, and we try to, or we, I have to say, because my, my co-director, Christian Asmussen, is not here, so I'm always talking in both names. And um, and, and we try to, to, to take from the book the, the emotional story um, that the sto the, that's, that's in there, and we, we focused on that. So we first we did some graphic development of the style so we could get more into the world. We created a world around the, the basic word, wo uh, work from, from Martin Balscheid. And, and then we, we added some, some scenes, of course, and, and, and we, we focused more on the relationship between the, the old fox and the, and the young foxes. And, and so we, we added some stuff. And, and Martin, the, the author of the book, we showed him in the beginning, we showed him the, the animatic. So that was the first development and that was the first thing he, he, uh, he saw and he said, well, that's different than I thought, but um, we, we just before we did, a, we did a film called Duck, Death and the Tulip, which is based on a book from Wolf Elbow. And that was very well received, that film. And Martin has seen that film and he said, I've seen other films you made, so I, I trust you. Okay. And, and then in the premiere, in, in we made a small premiere in Cologne, and he was like, like totally happy. He was where he said, "Well, this is a book, and that's the film, and you made something else, but that's uh, just perfect for the spirit of of the book uh, he had in mind." So, hmm. questions from the audience. So, as you said, the film is quite clear. <laughs> <laughs> the, <coughs> the book is also um, published in France, as I, I, I just learned, and uh, it's worth to, to, um, to get it, I think. So, if you're interested in that, it's a really nice book. Not M only the film. Matthias Brun, thank you very much. It was a pleasure.